Hi guys, Ancient Warrior here. Welcome back to Prepping USA. Before we start on our topic today, uh, folks, I need you to comment. I need to know if I'm doing a good job or a bad job. For some reason, YouTube is not making public any 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 of your uh, comments. So please comment as much as you can, and I'm going to. Find a way to get into the comments and answer them. And if you like, if you're new to this channel and you like what you hear, then press the little red button at the bottom that says subscribe. And if you really want to know what I'm fixing to do, hit the bell icon so we'll warn you. Let's talk about crazy panic buyers. Oh dear God, a friend of mine from up in the Big Apple sent me a article that was in a paper in the Hamptons, I guess it's South Hamptons where he lives, and they have a picture of a guy coming out of the out of a small grocery store. Now, before I go too far into this, in the Hamptons, there is no fresh vegetables, no fresh meat. Canned goods are literally wiped off the shelves. The people, the working people, not the ultra, ultra well-to-do for the wealthy or the rich, whatever you want to call them, they're not finding a problem because they went through and just wiped out the complete stores. So working folk just got to, are fighting for uh, little bits. <coughs> folks, you people up in the Hamptons, you working folks, when this is over, you need to continue coming to these channels if not to mine, to angry preppers, to uh, New York prepper, uh, city prepper, just any of these guys. Sensible prepping. And you need to start building up a supply. Now back to the story about the guy in the Southamptons coming out of the store. He had a shopping basket full, full mind you, of nothing but fresh carrots. And when asked about it, he said that's all they had in the store and he took them. Okay, folks. I hope he's got lots of ways to cook carrots. Because I'm not a big fan of carrots, but I will eat them. Hope he's got lots of sugar and honey so he can glaze them. Whatever he's doing. Hell, he may be feeding them to his horses, as far as I know. I live here in the Texas Panhandle. In the last week, <coughs> excuse me, in the last week, we've been notified in the Amarillo area that we have approximately, and the numbers are subject to change on a daily, uh, on an hourly or daily basis, as you know with the corona, this coronavirus. And let me, I gotta crack a wind, it's, the wind's blowing and it's cool, but inside this car is not. Now back to what I was saying. Uh, this coronavirus is moving a lot quicker than what people expected, but we were better prepared than people suspected. Some of us were. Now in the Amarillo area, I've been trying to buy a few things I had. Now I can't call what I had is holes in my in my preps, but we'll talk about that in another video. 
because I did find one major gaping, seeping wound hole. I don't know, festering wound hole. But we'll get in that in another video. But I got around. And I hit generally five stores a day. And there was not, for over a week and a half, there was not one, not one package of ramen noodles to be had. There was not one one can of chili, raviolis, spaghettios, or any of that kind of stuff. It's because panic buying, folks. Now, I walk down one aisle, and crazy as it sounds, but there was peanut butter all through the aisle. Nobody had touched the peanut butter. If my mother didn't have a problem with nuts, I would have bought peanut butter. But, you know, sorry. Little allergy type deal. Guys, panic buying is going to be the death of all of us. Or at least most of you. Because I had my preps in place. And the people who were laughing at me three weeks ago, four weeks ago, one woman that I know, her daughter-in-law said that she bought a couple hundred dollars worth of stuff at Big Lots or at Dollar General, I don't remember which. And she said, oh, you're starting to sound like Ancient Warrior now. <laughs> There's a lot worse things sounding like than being a prepper, folks. I told a group of people that if they get to the point to where they're all older folks, if they get to the point to where there's no food to be had, to call me. And I'll do a care package. They may not like my care packages because it's going to be dried beans, rice, dehydrated potatoes, dehydrated vegetables, but it's going to keep them alive and healthy. So, you know, folks, every store I walk into right now, there's signs up that says you can't get toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning wipes, uh, alcohol, aloe vera, or any of that stuff. Okay, folks, we knew it was coming. We've, we've had a, we had a two-month head heads up, and people didn't, you know, Americans, as much as I love Americans, they're a hard-headed lot. Or as my grandfather would have said, they're a stiff-necked breed. Well, their stiff neckedness is now costing them. So, folks, panic not. And remember, it's better to have and not need than need not have. I'm the Ancient Warrior, and I'm out.